U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken held a telephonic conversation with India's External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar and stressed on the importance of a strong collective response to condemn Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Blinken also spoke uh, with J. Shankar to discuss Russia's premeditated, unprovoked and just unjustified quote-unquote attack on Ukraine. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has dialed Russian President Vladimir Putin amid the worsening situation with Ukraine. Now, during this telephonic conversation, Prime Minister Modi appealed for an immediate cessation of violence and also batted for diplomatic negotiations to resolve the crisis. Prime Minister Modi also raised the issue of safety of Indian nationals in Ukraine, stressing that India attaches the highest priority to their safe exit and return to India. Remember, nearly 16,000 Indian students and nationals remain stranded in Ukraine amid the ongoing crisis there. In fact, the Indian embassy in Ukraine has issued an advisory urging them to take shelters in nearby bomb shelters and not to make unnecessary movements. The Indian envoy in Ukraine spoke to over 200 students who have been accommodated near the embassy. Listen in to what he had to say. I am happy that all of us could finally get into this point. Uh, it's been a very anxious day for you, and I can tell you maybe many more times for me. Because uh, we heard of this news that the Air India flight is cancelled, and suddenly we realized all of you are here. And then, as you know, martial law has been imposed, so too many people cannot be together. So we took a conscious decision to keep you outside so the authorities could see the numbers. And that led to the negotiation which helped us keep the school. Now, as Ukraine and Russia both shut its airspace and Indians in Ukraine await an evacuation, the Foreign Secretary Harsh Shringla, in an address to the media, assured that safe evacuation and safety of Indians are their top priority. The Foreign Secretary also said that all the students and Indian nationals will be brought back safely. So far, over 4,000 out of the 20,000 Indians in Ukraine have already returned to the country. Based on the online registration process that was conducted by our embassy, we found that there were close to about 20,000 Indian nationals, including students uh, in the Ukraine. Of these, uh, about 4,000 have since left the country. One important step that we have taken, because a number of our students were reluctant to leave because uh, the authorities, the university authorities had said that the classes must be offline. We have now persuaded all the universities and institutions to allow online classes and therefore students can actually leave without uh, uh, having to face uh, uh, you know, the uh, strain of not being able to or missing out on their classes. As I said, the situation on the ground is difficult and is, uh, is uh, rapidly evolving. I want to assure, take this opportunity to assure all Indian citizens, uh, including students in Ukraine and their family members, that we will take all possible steps to bring back, to bring you back safe and sound, bring your wards back safe and sound. Uh, our uh, uh, focus in the UN Security Council has always been on de-escalation of tensions, on diplomatic dialogue as the only way forward. As uh, And uh, we've also emphasized on the existing agreements, the MINS agreements, the Normandy format. We've also uh, obviously placed uh, the highest importance to the safety and security of our nationals in the Ukraine in our statements in the UN Security Council. And there was some relief for some Indian students who managed to take the last flights back uh, from Ukraine on 23rd of February. And But many are still stuck in Ukraine, awaiting arrangements to be brought back home. Times Network spoke to some of these students. Listen in. We went to the supermarket and stock up all the utilities. And then we went to the ATM. Just when I was taking out uh, the cash from the ATM, there was two missile explosion on the Ivano Frankis airport. And the civilians are here, locals. So go supermarkets and stock food. The ATM has been cashed out. Because all of them have cash out. Because 
तो यही सब चल रहा है अभी बाकी हम लोग फिर उसके बाद घर में ही थे और फिर बाहर नहीं निकले बिकॉज हमें इंस्ट्रक्शन दी गई है कि सब लोग अपने घर में रहे रोड वगैरह पे ना जाए बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं मेरे अपार्टमेंट्स में मेरे दो बैचमेट्स रहते हैं बाकी आसपास बहुत सारे इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स रहते हैं बिकॉज अभी तक कोई नहीं जा पाया था क्योंकि क्लासेस की श्योरिटी नहीं हुई थी कि ऑनलाइन होगी ऑफ में